An important concept to understand is atomic mass. A lot of students get this confused with mass number. And the atomic mass does not equal the mass number of an element. They are slightly different. If we take a look at chlorine on your periodic table, chlorine has atomic number 17. So if you look at your periodic table in your lab notebook, all right, you're going to see the atomic number in the top. And underneath here, in chlorine, you're going to see a mass. And it says 35.45. Well, we know from looking at our mass numbers in the past that the mass number is always a whole number because it's a number of protons plus the number of neutrons. But we don't have a whole number here. Okay, we have a decimal. So what could it mean? Well, we've been talking about isotopes, and there are two common isotopes of chlorine. There is chlorine 35, and there is chlorine 37. Okay, chlorine 35 has an actual mass of 34.949 AMUs whereas chlorine 37 has an actual mass of 36.966 AMUs. So a lot of students, when they look at these and they say, well, there's two isotopes, well, you just average the two, and then your atomic mass is just the average of the two. So if we took the average of 34.949 and 36.966, so in other words, we're adding these both up, and we're dividing by two. Do that in a calculator. Okay, what you can do is pause this video, do that in your calculator. What do you come up with? You come up with an average of 35.968 AMUs. Is that what you see on your periodic table over here? No, it's not. So where does this number come from? Where does this atomic mass come from. What is important to understand is that atomic mass is what we call the weighted average mass of the element. The weighted average mass. By weighted it means it includes both the mass and what we call the percent abundance of the element, or the isotope in this case. Okay, the percent abundance is how abundant is it in nature. So we go back to our example of chlorine. Let's look at the data for the two isotopes of chlorine, and we'll look at their percent abundances. Chlorine 35, okay, its actual mass, and I've written that before, is 34.969 AMUs. Its percent abundance is 75.77%. Okay, that means 75.77% of all chlorine isotopes are chlorine 35 isotopes. Okay. Chlorine 37 has a mass of 36.966. AMUs and its percent abundance is 24.23%. So 24.23% of all chlorine isotopes are chlorine 37 isotopes. So now when we take a weighted average, we are taking into account not only the mass, but the percent abundance. So how do we do that? Calculate a weighted average. 
We're not adding them up and dividing by 2. We're doing a little bit more multiplication. Okay, we take the percent right here and we turn it into a decimal. So 75.77% as a decimal is 0.7577. We take the percent and we multiply it by its corresponding mass, 34.969. And then we add that to the percent abundance in a decimal, which is 0.2423, that's 24%, of the mass of the other isotope. So we multiply it by the mass of chlorine 17, which is 36.966. So our weighted average is 0.7577. That's our percent abundance times 34.969. That's the mass of the isotope. We add that to the percent abundance of the next isotope. Remember, it's expressed as a decimal times the mass of the next isotope. And if we had more than two isotopes, we would continue. We'd make another addition sign. We'd have that percentage mu multiplied as a decimal times the mass of the third isotope, and so on and so on. If we had five isotopes, we'd carry this out, and we'd have something added to itself five times. Okay, so then we would just do the math. And when we do this math, we end up with 35.45 AMUs as the atomic mass of chlorine. That is the weighted average mass or the atomic mass of chlorine. That's what we see right here for our atomic mass on our periodic table. So that is our weighted average, okay? And this tells us something too. If we know that there's two isotopes of chlorine, chlorine-35 and chlorine-37, the atomic mass of chlorine, 35.45, is closer to chlorine-35 in mass than it is to 37. In other words, 35.45 is closer to the value of 35 than it is to 37. So right away that tells us that chlorine 35, that isotope is more abundant than chlorine 37. So if we know what the isotopes are, we don't know if we don't know their percent abundance, but we know what they are, and we know the atomic mass, we can estimate which isotope is going to be the most abundant. Okay? But if we actually had to calculate the atomic mass, we would have to know those percent abundances and the actual masses and atomic mass units of each isotope. Where would we get that? It would have to be given to you in some sort of reference source, a chart, a data table, the text, etc. Okay. So the weighted average is the atomic mass and it takes into consideration um, the mass of the isotopes and the percent abundance of the isotopes.